This was uh, the Xiaomi's best selling mid range phone and one of the best mid range phones so far from the company. And uh, now this is going to be the next one. Uh, this is the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 8 Pro and this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro. In this video, we are going to do a quick comparison of these two phones to let you know how do these two phones differ and how is the Redmi Note 8 Pro an upgrade from the Note 7 Pro. Obviously, with most of the features here, it would be an upgrade and it won't be any uh, area where the Note 7 Pro still is going to be your choice. So only uh, a comparison to let you know how the things are changing from the uh, Note 7 Pro generation to the Note 8 Pro now. And before we start, we have a giveaway running on our channel for the Redmi Note 8 Pro giveaway. So if you want to win uh, this smartphone, you should go to that video and check out how you can join the giveaway and how you can participate to win this Redmi Note 8 Pro. Let's start with the design. Xiaomi has been at least uh, doing well with the designs and they have the glass bags uh, with the premium finish. The Note 7 Pro had it and the Note 8 Pro also has it. The Note 8 Pro actually has the Gorilla Glass 5 protected on it. While the Note 7 Pro had a slab design, which is a flat back, a flat back with the camera bump. The camera bump is still here because of that large sensor here, but the phone now has uh, a curvy back. It's not a flat back and there are curves towards the sides, which makes it easier to hold. Though there is a large difference between the sizes and even the thickness. The Note 7 Pro was 8.1 millimeter wide and uh, thick and uh, the uh, Note 8 Pro now is 8.8 .8 millimeter thick. Also with the weight, there's some difference, 186 grams for the eight Note 7 Pro, while the Note 8 Pro is 199 grams. So uh, there's that difference because of the battery size being increased now. 4000 mAh battery was present on the Note 7 Pro, it's 4500 mAh battery on the Note 8 Pro. With the screen size, 6.3 inch was uh, the screen size on the Note 7 Pro. It's 6.53 inch on the Note 8 Pro. Again with the notch, it's a U-shaped notch on the... Uh, Redmi Note 7 Pro while it's a V-shaped notch, a kind of a V-shaped notch on the uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro and the resolution still stays the same, full HD plus uh, with 1080 into 2340 pixels. There's Gorilla Glass protection present on both of them. So Xiaomi hasn't compromised much in those areas, but we were expecting an upgrade to Super AMOLED display, but that's not here. So uh, it's that area where Xiaomi has still stuck to the same except for the size changes. It's IPS LCD display with the full HD plus resolution on both of the phones. With the processors, both the phones are quite different there. It was Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, which was quite a good chipset with the 11 nanometer manufacturing process. It's MediaTek's Helio G980 on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Actually a 12 nanometer manufacturing process, which could be a bit of a disadvantage if you compare it with the 675, but it is much more advanced when we talk about the gaming capability that is ha it has. There are much uh, better gaming options uh, under this chipset. It's actually made for gamers and there's also liquid cooling present in this phone uh, for uh, someone who wants cooler experience. Though we have been proven wrong a couple of times we, uh, while we played the game like PUBG Mobile. But the entire chipset's theory here is about gaming and it's uh, Helio G980 with the Mali G76 MC4 GPU against the Adreno 612 GPU on the Snapdragon 675. With the day-to-day -day usage, both the phones did quite well. There was not a huge difference there. Uh, the app opening, the RAM management all seemed fine enough on both of them. But obviously, the Helio G980 is a much more advanced chipset when it comes to gaming and uh, things around that. With the camera, there's a huge upgrade here. The Redmi Note 7 Pro had a dual lens camera combination and it was one of those best mid-range camera phones at that time because of the Sony IMX586 sensor with the 5 megapixel f2.4 depth sensor present there. On the other side, now the Redmi Note 8 Pro has four cameras, double the number of cameras, but what do they offer? It's a 64 megapixel f1.8 sensor that is given here. That's the Samsung GW1 sensor. Along with that, there's a wide angle camera which was not present on the Note 7 Pro. The wide angle camera here is an 8 megapixel one and it offers about 120 degrees of uh, field of width, uh, view. And along with that, there's a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 2 megapixel macro sensor as well for those macro or the close up shots if you want to take them. So a quad uh, camera setup versus a dual camera setup here. And uh, with the video capabilities, so 4K video is possible on both of them. 960 FPS slow motion video recording is possible. Gyro EIS is also enabled on both of them. While on the front for the selfies, a 13 megapixel selfie camera was present on the Note 7 Pro, while the Note 8 Pro now comes with a 20 megapixel selfie camera, both with the same aperture size, that's f2.0. And uh, with the, the next one, that's battery life. Battery life should be uh, good on Note 7, uh, Note 8 Pro as well. Note 7 Pro had a great battery life, easily a day's battery life with about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time. We expect it to be better on this one. 
4500 mAh battery with the fast charging support being the same on both of them though the Note 7 Pro had a box uh, a charger of 10 watt charger you had to separately buy a quick charge uh, uh, adapter uh, if you wanted the fast charging uh, on this one here in the box you get 18 watt charger and it supports quick charge 4 plus so it's 18 watt support with the 18 watt charger here and a better battery life and a better battery capacity on the Redmi Note 8 Pro and with the variants uh, the Redmi Note 7 Pro started with 4 GB of RAM it went up to 128 GB storage and 6 GB of RAM here the minimum RAM, or, uh, RAM amount that you get here is uh, 6 GB of RAM and the max is 8 GB RAM with 128 GB storage. So uh, this was a quick comparison of how things have changed now uh, from one generation to the other, how the Redmi Note 7 Pro has gone to Note 8 Pro and what were the major changes in the two devices. So that is it. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.